If you're watching this video, let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been selected to be the epic hero of your very own story, and this is your first day of training. Are you ready? Are you nervous? Great, let's get started. Can I fight dragons yet? Slow down, Jimmy. There are a few things you need to know before you start saving the world. From the beginnings. Becoming an epic hero does not happen overnight. In fact, it takes hundreds and hundreds of years. It's important for an epic hero to come from a family of noble reputation. For example, our good friend Beowulf, son of Ecbio. Although Ecbio had passed away as Beowulf's story began, we are told of his noble life and the respect he gained from Benny in the land. And after all, lineage is one of the biggest identifiers in the Anglo-Saxon culture. As glamorous as the job of an epic hero sounds, it comes with a few important responsibilities. An epic hero must be willing and prepared to make a lengthy and powerful speech. As our fellow hero shows us, Beowulf, son of Ecthal, spoke, Wisest kings, now that I have come to the point of action, lines 1473-74, to 74, yada yada, the speech goes on for about 20 more lines. You might want to pack a lunch. This job entails long, treacherous journeys. And just when you made it, uh-oh, you've got a monster to fight. Beowulf shows his endurance as he goes to fight a foe's mother as he divided into the heaving depths of the lake. It was the best part of a day before he could see the solid bottom. Lines 1495 to 97. An epic hero is strong and a naturally good fighter, but sometimes they can't do it all on their own. Let's visit the local blacksmith and see what she can give us. Chainmail for protection against swords and the sharp paws of angry dragons. A sword. It must be the perfect sword for the monster you are fighting. For example, then he heaved his war sword and swung his arm. Lines 1520 to 1521. And finally, a shield. Let's not get too confident, Jimmy. After all, very great heroes need their protection. Like Beowulf, the dragon lunged and clutched and managed to catch him in her brutal grip, but his body, for all that, remained unscathed. The chainmail saved him on the outside, lines 1501 to 1503. All of these may seem a bit overwhelming, but are necessary tools for the defense of people you love. There's a lot more to the epic hero than what meets the eye. Let's take a look at you. Poise, confidence, courage, and a smile that says, hello world, get ready to be saved. You've got the makings of a great hero, Jimmy. For example, Beowulf. I won't shift a foot when I meet the cave guard. What occurs on the wall between the two of us will turn out as fate. Lines 2524 to 2526. Now let's take a look at Unferth. Remember, no epic hero wants to be an unfirth. It took a lot, Jimmy, but I think you're finally ready to fight your very own dragons that storm the hills of your homeland, or monsters that have been feared by all for centuries, or the beasts that have ruined whole cities and terrorized the people that you love. Like Beowulf, the perfect role model for epic heroes across the globe, who believes this fight is not yours, nor is it up to any man except me to measure his strength against the monster or prove his worth. Lines 2532 to 2535. A true hero, a true hero indeed. Jimmy, are you ready for your first... Oh, um...